Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into a new Capri Tools product. So in this video we're using the new camera setup and we're using my shotgun mic right now. Uh, my heat is running so hopefully it's not too bad but we're you know testing out the new equipment. Just keep in mind that I still have a lot of older videos that I've recorded and edited and I just haven't posted yet so you're still going to see some of my older content kind of working in with some of this newer content. but. Once again, like I mentioned in my previous video, please bear with me as I kind of get used to using this camera, the microphones and all of that. And uh, hopefully we get adjusted pretty quickly and we can start doing some real good videos. So today we're gonna be going into a Capri Tools product and it is going to be their snap ring pliers. And I'm going to show you those and compare them to two other brands that I have. I have that cheap, like free to $5 set from Harbor Freight. And then I also have an old set from Tekton Tools uh, that they no longer make anymore, which is another kind of, you know, good thing about Tekton Tools. They're, you know, if something isn't to their standard, they pull it, they re-engineer it, release something better. But Capri Tools has really outdid themselves and we're gonna get into their snap ring pliers and I'll discuss some of their other products that run alongside with these snap ring pliers. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts. And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I also have the Capri Tools website linked down in the description as well as the tools link. So if you guys are interested in any of the tools that you see in my videos, it's all linked down there for you guys. So let's get into this. Here I have the other snap ring pliers that I've had for quite some time. Uh, so we're gonna be comparing these to the new Capri Tools ones. So I'm just gonna share my thoughts on these as far as quality goes and everything and my uses. So as far as this, I just got from Harbor Freight for free, I believe, uh, but I wanna say they sell for like five or six dollars. Uh, it's an interchangeable tip. Snap ring pliers said it comes with four of these ends, I believe. Truthfully, I don't use it. I used them a couple times and I did not like it just due to the fact that the design isn't made for tight spaces or awkward situations just because of this pin mechanism. It has a spring and a little flipper over here. Uh, that allows you to remove it so you can change the tips on the snap ring pliers. And you get various different tips. You got straight, you got 90s, you got um, 45s. And depending on how you attach this, they got two pins up here. And so you have, you're able to spread a snap ring outwards. Or if you, if you take this off and you place it on the other side, now you can pull a snap ring together in order to remove it. So it is nice because if you're not working in tight spaces, this may work best for you, especially if you don't do a whole lot with snap ring pliers and you just need a set if you're just a DIYer. Um, they're, they're probably gonna be okay, especially like if all you're really using them for is uh, like removing snap rings on ratchets and stuff in order to disassemble them to grease them or anything like that anything that you can put on a workbench and isn't like super stiff as far as the snap ring these are not made for big snap rings they are smaller snap ring pliers uh, they're okay when you're working in certain situations they're not the best because you end up bumping the the button and then like that yep just like that so just drop this back in there, lock it down. It just kind of folds over right there. Uh, but this guy still moves around. But if you're working on a bench, it's fine. If you're working in a tight area, not so much because you had to deal with that pin. It's kind of a bulkier design and just, you know, you get it. DIYers, it's great for probably. <laughs> so then I picked these up because I didn't care for that design. These are from Tekton. They no longer sell them. Uh, hopefully Tekton will release a newer design um, of better quality. Not saying that there's anything necessarily wrong with these, but they're not the highest quality. I want to say these are more of the design that you'll find all over Amazon and many stores. They're just your generic design and they work just fine. Once again, they're a smaller design. I haven't had any issues with snapping the tips or anything like that. But like when looking at this, you can tell the legs on it are not set evenly. Uh, I did not bend them during use. That's just the way they came. They just weren't. So like when you're going to 
put it on a snap ring. Obviously, this one doesn't work for this, but um, if your snap ring is already close together and you need to spread it outwards, then it's kind of it takes a little bit more time to line up the pins, but it's not that big of a deal. I haven't ran into any issues to where I couldn't use them, so I mean, that's not a huge deal. They, these ones are made in China, but they've done well for me. They are all spring-loaded, and you get a set of four, so you have your internal and external, and then you have 90 degree and, or roughly 90 degree, it's in between 45 and 90. Um, and then you got your straights for internal and external snap rings. So it's a good set, I wanna say I paid around $20 for it. And so when you're looking at snap ring pliers, they're going to range from roughly, well, you got your $5 pair here. But if you're looking at any set like this, it's going to range anywhere from 20 to $50. And then when you get into your more higher quality, more professional grade snap ring pliers, you're looking anywhere from 60 to $200, depending on the brand that you go with. Um, so this was a good buy. I wasn't disappointed in them, but by no means are they top of the line. That is the nice thing about these. If you don't have a lot of space or you don't want a full set, you know, you can have basically a full set without taking up the space of having a full set of this design. And then these are the Capri Tools 7-inch Clinge Snap Ring Pliers. I think I'm saying that right, just like I stated, made in Japan. So it's a four-piece set. Here you can see the bore size and everything that they're good for, the straight, the 90 degree. Uh, you don't receive 45 degree angle ones, these are 90s. Uh, and they are a little bit bigger. We'll take a closer look at them in just one second. They are guaranteed lifetime warranty. Here's some of the information. So you have your internal snap ring pliers straight and 90, and then your external snap ring pliers straight and 90. Precisely machined high carbon steel. They're plastic dipped handles. Premium Japanese high carbon steel and underwent state of the art heat treatment process, spring loaded pliers, yep, 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 all that fancy information. So, here we'll just kind of take a closer look at the set. So, it does come in this nice little blow molded case. It does take up quite a bit of room. If you have the space, it's a great little organizer. Me, I'm going to take them out and put them in my own pliers organizer because this does take up quite a bit of space. But we'll just go ahead and take these out. So here you can kind of see the size difference. They are uh, a little bit larger than... And I'll tell you one thing. Every Japanese tool that I've owned, I have never been disappointed in. They are high quality material and high quality finishes. They do a really good job with quality control when it comes to Japanese made tools. At least in my experience, any Japanese made tool I've had has been high quality, high quality control. I've never had an issue with them. So when I saw Capri Tools selling these snap ring pliers made in Japan, I was very interested. And then I come to find out that they actually have a couple other sets of pliers. Um, Capri Tools doesn't have a huge lineup of pliers, but they do have some good pliers. So here you can just kind of see the finish on it. Very very clean finish. It's almost like a black oxide coating here. Nice rubberized dipped handles. Each one has its own part number forged in Japan. Not only does it state it there on the handle, but it is on the center of the tool as well. And here you can just kind of see a close-up look. The tips are quite a bit larger. You're going to have better material, the metal, um, thicker material but still a nice slender design, slim design. You're gonna be able to get into spaces a lot better than something like this design. And uh, they work very well. So I have a lot of videos coming up that are going to be dealing with the Camaro build and we're actually gonna be using these quite a bit. I have about three or four jobs. I have a lot to do with the brake system and the drive shaft and rear end and everything, which uh, do all include some snap rings. So we'll be putting these to the test to see that how they hold up. But I, I can already tell you right now, the quality is far beyond these two other sets. And I'm glad to have something of a little bit better quality, a little bit thicker, stronger material, um, because sometimes when using something like this, it can get very sketchy. Um, but when it comes to, you know, rebuilding ratchets or just lubricating ratchets, things like this work just fine. If I didn't do much work with snap rings, I wouldn't mine these so much, but I mean, they work just fine. Same with the tectons. 
when it comes to a good quality set of snap rings, I want something that is going to be reliable and be able to handle any job that I need it to, um, especially with a little bit larger snap rings. So these are gonna do very well. Let me know your guys' thoughts on them if you knew that uh, Capri Tools had some Japanese made pliers. I thought that was a really cool um, kind of thing that Capri Tools has going on. So let me know your guys' thoughts on these. So like I was saying before, you can get a set of these for like $5. Sets like these run anywhere from 20 to 50 depending on the size and the amount that you get. You can get l much larger sets uh, as far as size and number of snap ring pliers. You could get, you know, eight piece sets, 10 piece sets, uh, a lot of different variations. And that's gonna range from 20 to 50. And then when you get into good quality snap ring pliers like this, you're going to range anywhere from $60 to $200 and this one is going to fall right around I want to say $70 so priced very well for a good quality Japanese made um, snap ring plier set so here's just kind of a closer up look of them and stay tuned for future videos on the Camaro build where we will be putting these to the test so please let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments if you guys have any questions about these I will do my best to answer them uh, just leave your comment down below. Other than that, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.